Hey guys, this video is for the Algebra 2 uh, polynomials and the graphs. Um, long division of polynomials, the graphs of polynomials, and how to find zeros of polynomials. And so what we're looking at is these things. And so um, these are kind of the basic ideas of what's going to be on the test. And so there's going to be polynomial division, which was where we had to do the whole division of, let's say, like, if we had one, we could do um, something like x plus 6 divided by x cubed minus 4x plus 2 or something like that. Um, that's really not going to work, but it'd be something like that. Or the synthetic division where we had the special box and we had our coefficients and we would add them together and get these weird numbers so that we would end up with the remainder, the constant, the power of one. Okay, finding zeros with given factors, you would do the same thing, all right? You would find the root, and then we would use synthetic. The possible rational zeros where we did the P the Q and then the P over Q thing. Okay, so that was again also with the rational zeros. So the possible rational zeros were all we had to do was P and the Q. The, ra the, the actual rational zeros were we had to do the P or the Q and kind of go through the synthetic division there. In a section that says find zeros, that's an all for all kind of thing where you guys can find the zeros however you want to. So that's like either factoring or completing the square. Or the quadratic or weight or, or something like that, right? Last but not least is polynomial functions and how to write those. So given zeros. Okay, so that was like the very tail end of section, um, or the very end of section 4.3, okay. Um, so that's basically, that's all on your test. So it's a, um, should be a fairly easy test, um, I, or at least I would think so. Um, the only thing I would say is this, okay. Um, I would highly suggest that you kind of go through these problems, kind of work through them. Um, they're they're going to help you out a lot. Okay, so please make sure that if you have questions, um, you shoot me an email, an email, excuse me, and I can try to help you through email or through Remind or however we can do this to help you out. Okay. Um, the last thing that we need to make sure is how prepared are you? So uh, there are two options. Okay, if you go to Google, if you go back to Google, um, go back to Google Classroom, and on Google Classroom there is a thing called the review assignment. If you do the review assignment, um, that's going to get you some point. So it's going to be a lot like the test. So I would highly suggest kind of go through it. I know the notation to submit your answer is a little difficult, but uh, kind of read the directions as carefully as you can so that you can kind of see how that was done. Okay. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, there is a, an opportunity for extra credit where you can do a review packet for extra credit. Um, the sub might have a couple of few left over. Um, and so if not, you can always just print one out and begin working on those. So for the remainder of the block, um, I would say, um, I would take a look at the review, kind of go over these concepts that I've listed here, um, but also, you know, help each other out with um, reviewing and so you, you can do the review assignment as many times as you want to um, it is just for points um, as a way of doing it and to study for okay and the extra credit again is worth extra credit points so take a look at that the last thing I do want to tell you is an index card um, you will get to use an index card I will let you have one um, what's on the index card is all up to you. You can use notes, you could do whatever. You could put, even put example problems. However, you cannot work out the example problems. Okay, so 
kind of like up here at the very top. Um, these I would consider example problems that did not get to be worked out. Okay, these are example problems, or even something like this would be an example problem. Okay, but you cannot tell me what they are, or you cannot do them on the note cards. It just needs to be notes. So I would suggest maybe putting procedural steps, or reminders, or things that will help you remember the process. Okay, other than that, have a great day. Um, reviewing again if you have any questions please email me or send me a message through your mind and I'd be glad to help you